Hello my fellow Narnians and welcome back to Narnia Lore. I do apologize for the long space in between videos, but it's been a crazy month. A lot of things happened, all that. But, so you all understand, we all have lives. So in the last video, we took a look at where the Golden Green Rings came from and dove a little bit into the history of Charn and the White Witch and her sister. In this video, I want to attempt to answer the question we left off with last time, and that is, what happened to Uncle Andrew's godmother? Did she really die? So if we're assuming that all three of the fairies mentioned in the last video are related and who are who I said they might be, then I think it is very easy to explain that Uncle Andrew's godmother is not dead. I mean, in Prince Caspian, the hag, who is quite possibly the White Witch, says, who ever heard of a witch who really died? And I believe it would be safe to assume that it applies to fairies as well, since in this case they're being the, kind of the same thing. Uh, so with that being the case, what major female character has monumental effect on the storyline throughout all seven books. Well, for the most part, I think most people would probably say Lucy. However, there is one other character who, if it wasn't for her, Narnia or any of the other worlds would never have been discovered. And that character is none other than Polly Plummer herself. Now think about it, if it wasn't for her, Diggory would have never gone to the Wood Between the Worlds. Shoot, he wouldn't even gone into the Uncle Andrew's study. If it wasn't for her, they never would have gone to Charn. All, all this stuff happened almost because of Polly, and although it is Diggory that does the majority of the heavy lifting, so to speak, in the story, it is actually Polly that mostly suggests what they do. So, my theory is that Polly is in fact a reincarnate of Uncle Andrew's godmother, placing herself there to hopefully redeem Charn and teach her sister, the White Witch, a lesson. And perhaps Polly purposefully let the witch grab her hair so that she'd be weakened in the wood between the worlds, and that kind of backfired because she got into England. But anyway, and once again, this is merely my speculation, and obviously no more than a fan theory. However, I do think that the reasoning for this theory is quite sound. Now, unfortunately, that's really all I have for right now on this theory. Uh, I'm not too sure where this could go if y'all have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. However, I would like to give a shout out to Aloha. Uh, your comment uh, says you should do a mock script for the Netflix shows. Personally, I would do Find the Witch in the Wardrobe, then Horse's Boy, then Prince Caspian, Voices of John Treader, Silver Chair, Magician's Nephew, and Last Battle. Aloha. Uh, believe it or not, I have been working on actual scripts uh, for all seven books. Now, granted, they're probably never going to seen or anything, but I've been working on them uh, for years now, actually ever since uh, about 2015. Um, I've been working on a lot of them, and if you guys would like, uh, I will actually release some snippets, or the full scripts or whatever, if you'd like, in, in kind of dramatized videos. Uh, so uh, let me know what y'all think. If you want me to do that, uh, please let me know, and uh, until next time, this is Narnia Lore.